This video will focus on the relationship between fractions and place value. But before we get into any detail, let's review what place value is. As you can see with this number, there are values both in front of and behind the decimal. And each number is in its own place value. So let's review them. The one is in the hundred thousands place. The two is in the ten thousands place. The three is in the thousands place. The four is in the hundreds place. The five is in the tens place. And the six is in the ones place. Now when we look at the values behind the decimal, those place values work in almost the opposite way as the values in front of the decimal. The only difference is before the decimal, we have a ones place where the six is. But after the decimal, there is no ones place. So the seven here begins what is the tenths place. Notice the difference in how we say that, tenths, and the difference in the spelling, tenths place. The eight is in what we call the hundredths place, hundredths. And the nine, can you guess? That's right, it is in the thousandths place, thousandths. So now that we've reviewed the place value, let's take a look at how we can take a fraction and turn it into a decimal using place value. So the first example we'll do is nine tenths, nine tenths. Now looking at the fraction, we first want to consider the denominator. This denominator of 10 lets us know the place value that we'll be using. The numerator gives us the value that needs to be written in that place value. So 9 tenths. So we would take our tenths place, which is the first place after the decimal, and we would write a value of 9 there. So 9 tenths equates to 0 0.9. You can write your 0 in front of the decimal or you can leave it out, whichever you prefer. Alrighty. How about six hundredths, six hundredths? So once again, the denominator will tell me the place value to use. So I'm gonna use my hundredths place. And the six tells me what value to write there. And so I'll be writing a value of six. So zero, there's my decimal. And because I'm going to the hundredths place and I don't have a number to put in my tenths place, you write in zero there. And then the six goes in your hundredths place. I'll show an example shortly of how that would change. All right, here's another. Four thousandths. Four thousandths. So the denominator tells us we're gonna use our thousandths place. The numerator tells us we're going to put a value of 4 there. So we're going to put a 0 in all the other place values. And then a 4 will go in the thousands place. All right, let's look at one more example. 12 hundredths. 12 hundredths. Notice now we have a two-digit value in our numerator. So how is that written? The thing you want to be sure of is you know your placement. So we're going to be in the hundreds place. And the last digit of this value should be written in the hundreds place. And then all the other digits are written in front of it. So this one will be written at 0.12. All right, so let's do a recap. When you're going from a fraction to a decimal, you want to consider, number one, your place value. So you want to look at your denominator. If it's a 10, that's the tenths place. Hundred, hundredths place. Thousand, thousandths place. 
and then your numerator is going to tell you what value to actually write in that place value. And then in the event that you have a two digit value or more, you look at the very last uh, digit and that's going to go in the place value. So because this was 12 and two is the last digit of that number, it had to be written in the hundreds place. So this is how you can relate your fractions and your place value.